Hi everyone. In the previous episode, we've built dragging functionality for React component with TypeScript. And in this episode, I want to create a custom hook and make this functionality reusable between different components. So let's have a look how we can do this. The logic was implemented within use effect hook, where we have references to a couple of div elements down here and some other values that we're using for computation. And we want to move all this stuff into a custom hook. Let's start by creating a new file. I'm going to call it use dragger. First, I want to import react. Then I'm going to create function use dragger. And let's export it as default. One thing to notice here is when creating a custom hook within react, it enforces us to start the name with word use. So it knows that this is a custom hook. Now let's jump into the FTSX and cut use effect and some of the references out and paste them into the use dragger. First, let's resolve some dependencies. I'm going to import use ref, use effect as well. And within the use effect, you can see that we're using box and container and we're getting the references to both of them and then attaching some event listeners down here. Within AppTSX, you can see our container and box references, but this time I want to do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna remove both of the references first. I'm gonna clean it up here and I'm going to remove references from our div elements. Let's bring our hook here and let's add ID to our div element. Further, we're going to use this ID in order to find an element within our hook and attach event listeners in order to provide the dragon functionality to it. We're going to update our function as well and we're going to add our argument here. And now within our effect, I can remove this line here for finding my target DOM element, I'm going to use document get element by ID. And I'm going to provide the same ID as an argument. The target can be either HTML element or null. And we want to make sure that HTML element present. So we'll make sure that the target exists. And if it's not, then we are going to throw an error telling that element with given ID doesn't exist. We'll remove the box. And let's have a look at the container. You can see that the container is also being used in order to listen to some events. So in order to find the container of our target element, we're going to use target parent element. And the same way it returns either HTML element or null. If container doesn't exist, we want to throw an error telling that the target element must have a parent. Let's scroll down and replace box with target down here. And let's add an ID as a dependency to our use effect function. Let's check that we're providing correct ID to our use dragger. And let's test it out. All right, component is here and I'm able to drag it. Yeah, it seems like it's working. So we have successfully created our custom React hook. Let's first move this div into a separate component. I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to create a new component here. Components, pink box, TSX. I'm gonna import React and create a pink box component. It's going to be React functional component. And here I'm going to return the previous div element. We need to export our pink box and we're going to move our use dragger into the pink box component. Now within AppTSX we can replace the div element with our pink box component. Let's check it out. Yeah, I still can drag it and it works fine. Now what I want to do is create more components and make sure that use dragger works independently for each of them. Let's create a new CSS row. 
I'm gonna copy the box. I'm gonna call it circle. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change the background color. Next thing, I want to create a copy of pink box component. We're gonna call it circle. And we'll replace the name here and down here. We'll change the div ID to circle and the class name is going to be circle as well. And we're going to replace an ID in our custom hook call as well. Let's add a circle right under the pink box. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a circle. Let's jump back to the CSS. and add border radius 50%. Now we have a circle and it's draggable. And we can also drag the box from previously. Let's add one more element for fun. Copying a circle, gonna call it small circle. Gonna make it a little bit tinier. And we're going to make a color red. So let's create a component, new file, small circle TSX, and let's copy the implementation of the circle in here, rename it to small circle. Change the argument of our hook, put it as an ID, and the same goes to the class name. Now ID and class name doesn't have to be the same in HTML, I just use the same name here. Now our CSS is ready and let's import our small circle and test it out for the last time. Great! We have created a reusable custom React hook and all our components are able to use the hook independently. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.